welcome Carlos Wyndham! I really wish I could say that we're a strut and not a limp, but I just uh, reactivated an old bull riding injury a couple of days ago. And it was an injury from about a decade ago, and that's how I earned this sweater. Uh, it's not. So, uh, that's fucking ridiculous. Earned a sweater bull riding, you're supposed to earn a big belt buckle. Uh, so, white people, let's talk about those. Right? Why not? Why not? been having a little bit of an observation that I've been making recently that's been making it hard to sleep in the country, which is that uh, white women are uh, the fucking worst. And I, listen, I'm not trying to start shit, okay? I wanna be clear, I'm your friend, okay? If you've not had a black friend, let it be me. And that, is uh, that's an offer that is valid until I get off this stage and then don't fucking talk to me about any of this. I don't wanna hear your bullshit. Uh, you've been making it hard to sleep. Uh, and as a consequence, I did in fact buy a white noise machine. Uh, I, fuck you. I learned about it in therapy. I plugged it in like three days ago and I was very excited to finally get some sleep. I put that shit in, and I got ready to hear my little seashell, my little <laughs> And mine was broken, and I plugged it in, and it said, all lives matter, all lives matter, all lives matter. <laughs> my fault, it was my fault. I looked down, I looked at the setting. I had it on 2014. That's the whole fucking problem. I flipped it over, no, 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 no. I flipped it over 2016, and it started going, lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. <laughs> I wanted to get ahead of the curve, so I flipped it over very quickly to 2020. No collusion, no collusion, no collusion. I didn't want to hear that bullshit, so ran over and, and got my little pamphlet that came with it. I knew it was the right one because, of course, it had on the front of it, it had a picture of the machine itself. And then I heard the machine saying, spank me, daddy, spank me, daddy. So I unplugged that motherfucker quick. Unplugged the shit out of that. Flipped through the thing to figure out what was wrong, and I got it because I had the wrong make. I accidentally got a Russian model, is what happened. Again, thank you, 53% of white women. Thank you again for that. So that's dope. So now, all together, we get to live very precariously beneath a, I don't know, let's say, hate and jizz-filled helium balloon with a bit of a leak in it that keeps farting its hate and jizz all over the country. So thanks again. Thanks again. We're just, I'm being vulnerable. We're telling truths. We're making friends. We're making friends. We're making friends. This is why I'm in therapy. It truly is. It truly is. I think that the reason the white women are like this, though, is that because you, you, the, your white friends don't call you out enough. When the shit happens, you give cute alliterative names to these women. What the fuck is this? Dog Park Debbie? Uh, 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 what's the, the barbecue Becky? Whatever the fuck, right? Uh, uh, oh, shit. No, 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 no. No, no, the asshole, the liar. Um, Sarah Sanders? Right? What the fuck? You can't keep excusing them with these names. You can't do it. It's gonna, it's gonna cost us... I don't think it's really the names. I think... I think what it is, I think someplace out in the Midwest, there might be like a, uh, I don't know, a Susian uh, monkey make bean make racist machine wherein you find little white girls with no stars upon theirs and, and, and shove them in one side. You shove them in a side and kind of twist them around and pop them out the other end. And that's where you get these lovely, lovely women who somehow manage to look like a more racist Andrew sisters. Why, it's not, I don't understand. Is that too, to get, so you get it. Nobody else listens to music from the 40s? Fuck you for that, too. You get it? You got it? Thank you. That's good. That's good. So, 
Portland calls itself the whitest city in America, which, weird flex, fuck you. And second, you are not. You are not. Again, I'm saying all of this because we're friends, because I love you. I grew up amongst you. It was not in this city. It was in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, don't woo, okay? <laughs> Portland, 86% white. For the highest per capita immigrant rate in the entire United States. Boulder, Colorado, 97% white. Thank you. Yes, even the snow was white. Yes. <laughs> Ouch, indeed. But that is why I know. I know. I am not talking out of my ass. I grew up amongst you. I am very much... Think of me as the uh, Jane Goodall of white people. Right? I, I know your languages. I know your foods. I've had tuna casserole. And hopefully... I will never have to have it again. Listen, if, if, if I've said anything at all controversial tonight, please just remember this. Uh, I am only here to do my part to promote racial healing. Thank you. My name's Carlos. <laughs> <laughs>